Do we want a collective reading? Yeah. All right. We're doing a little bit of a collective check-in here. Yeah. To see what's going on with the collective. How y'all feeling? How y'all doing? The energies of the collective lately have been pretty intense. Wouldn't you say? Um, and yes, that had everything to do with the full moon. But it also had a lot to do with just the collective collective atmosphere. There's a lot of change. There's a lot of fear. And there's a lot of fear being spread. There's a shit ton of uncertainty. And there's definitely, um, and there is definitely a lot of, oh, death around us. Figuratively and literally, like physical death. A faucet that won't shut up. Oh my God, Tamika, that is, or it won't shut off. That is so... Oh, right. Holy shit. But it really has kind of been like a faucet that won't shut off. It's and, and that's actually what I've been experiencing. It's like there are things that are coming up. It's like, okay, I understand that I'm hurt by this, but can we stop thinking about it like over and over and over again? That would be really fantastic, actually. I would really appreciate would really appreciate that. What's going on with the collective right now, please, spirit? All right, we have the ace of cups in re oh shit. Oh, damn. <sighs> what? First card out is the Ace of Cups in reverse. And then you have, but with that though, you have the tower, but you also have the sun. So, and what I'm getting with that, you guys, is I literally just heard no love lost here. But uh, that's not exactly true because I feel like that's coming from an egoic point of view. Um, that Actually, there is love, love lost here. You have the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck also. Um, here's the thing. There are things that are changing because illumination, truth, and or clarity has come into your situation here. And thus, there is an end that's being put to something, but you have no choice. I mean, you have no other choice in the matter. I mean, yes, obviously, you will always have a choice. There is such a thing as free will. But... When it comes down to it, logically speaking, you really don't have a choice here because your only other choice other than tearing this down to the ground, this non-loving situation, the only other choice you have other than tearing it down is staying in it. And you're like, fuck no. I want to talk about this tower. What's the tower here? You like, you have too much clarity to stay in a situation like that. Like the sun, the sun is way... The sun is way too damn bright. The illumination, it's its literally way too clear. It's way too clear for you to stay in a loveless situation. And thus, a tower moment or something is happening. Something is being destroyed. And look, I'm trying to clarify the tower moment. And look at what came out, y'all. The eight of fucking cups, man. Like, you can't make this shit up, all right? You have no choice but to walk away and put your efforts towards something else that actually is going to be loving. And, and, and the main message that's been coming through a lot for the collective lately is loving yourself. And so what I feel like is happening here is you are in fact choosing yourself. I wanna continue talking about this tower energy. Page of cups, because you have a dream. You said, you know what the, you know what, the, honestly, the, the, what I'm getting with this page of cups is, you know what, you know what, fine, fine, fuck it. I'm sorry. I'm, tr I'm trying to find the right cards to put up for this. Fine. Fuck it. You don't, you don't, you don't want to give me the love that I know I deserve. And then and the love that you and I both know that I, that I need, even though I'm giving you the love that we both know that you need, then fine. I'm going to take my love and I'm going to go somewhere fucking else. There is quite a bit of animosity. I mean, this is more than just, this is this is the Page of Cups energy, but this, what I feel right now for whomever this is resonating for, this is a very, very mature energy because the Page of Cups is not only uh, an emotionally immature person or a younger person. The Page of Cups is also the dreamer energy. And what I'm feeling here is there is definitely a dream in your back pocket that you have every intention of bringing to fruition. So this is very much a fuck it, fuck this, and fuck you. I'm out of here. Fuck that. Fuck this. Fuck you. I'm out of here. Let's talk about the Page of Cups. Uh, ooh. Oh. But look, the Queen of Cups is at the bottom of the deck, too. Because you have your, you have your what I just heard is you have your emotional stability on lock. 
And you've learned boundaries. Ha ha ha. I know that shit is right, y'all. You learn motherfucking boundaries. Look at you. I'll let you know what I'll drink to that. I will definitely drink to that. I will definitely drink to that. What is this page of cups energy? Let's talk about this for a second. <clears throat> Six of cups. So you're manifesting a soulmate. You're manifesting. What I heard is you're manifesting true love and you're not about to take, make any sac. Uh, I'm hearing you're not going to take any sacrifices. What I feel, and then that came out with the four of cups in reverse. And I feel like you're just, you're not about to settle. You're not about to allow. Okay. So one of the big lessons that you learned in this situation was you were not about your, you've learned to not settle for something that isn't reciprocal or isn't um, at least fulfilling your basic needs. And it's even more than just fulfilling your basic needs, because obviously you're going to need your basic needs fulfilled. If the situation is going to have any sort of strong foundation to last, of course, if it's going to last, um, there needs to be an effort to go above and beyond what someone needs. But if it really is the true love that you're trying to manifest or that you are in fact, intentionally manifesting into your life, obviously it's going to be that because if you truly love someone, just giving them their basic needs is like child's play. It's like, whatever, like you deserve your basic needs. Anyway, I want to go above and beyond and give you more than that and, 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 and appreciate you. So you're not going to take anything less than that any longer. You have finally gotten to an energy where you're putting unrequited love situations behind you, not even on the back burner. You're completely putting, throwing that away. You don't have to you don't have to constantly feed into situationships that are just draining you dry with the hopes that one day it will come in to be come into fruition and be something that you wanted it to be or that you've always wanted or that you've always hoped. You're not doing that anymore because you have this greater vision. Ooh, and now we have the high priestess at the bottom of the deck after the four of cups has come out. You learned a higher wisdom. You've learned a strong message. You've learned a lot here and you've moved into this space of higher wisdom. You've moved into this space of higher understanding and I'm hearing unconditional love. Let's talk about the four of cups in reverse. What did you learn here? Take this one. <laughs> oh, fucking right, y'all. Fucking right, y'all. Look at, you have four cards that fell out here. Um, <laughs> You have four cards that fell out here, plus one on the bottom of the deck. Two of those cards have fallen out face down, and it's exactly the two cards that I thought it was. The Queen of Wands and the Ten of Cups. You are putting yourself in the vibration of attracting exactly what it is you want. No counterfeits, no if ands, or buts about it, no half-ass bullshit, none of that. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, with that... You have the seven of wands and the four of pentacles, yo. But you need to understand something that whomever this reading is resonating for, this person is standing their ground, is holding their boundaries and is not backing down with at least without a fight. Four of pentacles, seven of wands. I mean, you can't get any more stubborn than that. You might be dealing with an earth sign. Oh, huh. so... Do you want to know what's on the bottom of the deck? Okay, wait, let's go back because we were talking about some pretty heavy stuff. Now, somebody is moving on, is manifesting their 10 of cups in their life, all right, um, is no longer taking, excuse me, is no longer settling for less than exactly what it is they've been looking for. And so we were talking about this four of cups in reverse, and we had the seven of wands and the four of pentacles come out, right? And this was talking about someone being like standing there, firmly standing their ground, not going back to the past, not going back to anything. And look at what is on the bottom of the deck here. Oh, thank you, Ellie. None other than the lovers. The lovers is about a choice. It's also about a romantic relationship. It's a partnership. It's, it's true love. It's all, it's like a divine partnership, twin flame energy. Sure. Okay. But the lovers also technically is about of choice. And what I'm, what I'm feeling here between this ace of cups in reverse with the sun, with the sun and the tower, someone is bringing this tower down to the ground because they are in fact walking away. All right. And they're, they're in their manifesting energy. They're in their law, law of attraction mode and they're manifesting the love of their life is what I just heard because they've chosen themselves. 
with the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Cups also. They've chosen themselves. Period. That's all there is to it, you guys. You want to see, let's talk about, let's talk about why we're walking away. Other than the fact that we have the Ace of Cups in reverse here, why are we walking away? Well, let's talk about this Eight of Cups energy. The Ten of Pentacles. Why are we walking away? Because the lesson is, in fact, complete. There you go, right there. There you go, right there. The lesson is complete. You've come to the higher understanding. You've come to the higher wisdom. This is the second time the High Priestess has come out in this. With death underneath that. Oh, my goodness. Y'all. Talk about some full moon cleansing energies. 